I am legit terrified. Hold on, look at this. It's like, you can't even, all you see are heads. Hey, Sarah. Yes? Did you know that Fresh Baked is now uh, doing trip reports from Walt Disney World in Florida? Uh, yes, Talk I did know that. You did know that? I did. So they did have you a know that? That's, yeah, I did. Uh, I, yeah, because I had to edit the videos. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Fresh Baked, did you know? Yes. That we are now yes, doing is, trip reports, yes, weekly exactly. trip reports really cool. from Walt Disney World, Florida. Right now, as we speak, our correspondent, Laramie Williams, is at Disney's Hollywood Studios filming. Oh, really? I don't know what, what's what's the film at Hollywood Studios. There's a. Um, I wouldn't know. Actually. The uh, what about Test Track? Maybe is Test Track there? Where's that? Can we send it to Tokyo next? Well, well you know what we need. We need a muffin from Tokyo to to email us and say, hey, do you guys want to? Do a channel in yes. Tokyo, yes. and the answer to that is yes, we would. Yes. <laughs> we would like that, and in Paris, yes. and in Shanghai, yes. and in Hong Kong. Yes. Um, guys, go to Fresh. It's Fresh Baked Disney World. Follow us there. Subscribe to that channel, and get you get basically. Larry did a great job so far. He's doing a great job so far of sort of delivering things in the Fresh Baked way. Like you know, our first person, you're with us at the park, having a good time with us there, testing out all the. The, the new attractions and you know he just did food and wine last week he did a little sampling there uh, and he's gonna hopefully get us some good coverage today of, of, of Hollywood Studios. I want wine from Walt Yeah well um, yeah that happens. <laughs> there's, there's is much bigger I don't know if you saw the coverage. It's probably better than It's enormous. <laughs> and I bet if I asked them for a white zin they wouldn't give me a snotty animal. They would probably give you any kind of wine you want I'm sure. Uh, so yeah, guys, go to go to uh, Fresh Baked Disney World. I'll put a link. It's in the video and stuff. Just click that. Subscribe. Follow us there. You're gonna get twice the adventure. Actually, it's kind of fun to compare too. I'm having a good time comparing the attractions. It's to it's totally uh, more of like a, oh my god, we really are the smallest park. Oh no, yeah, we are tiny. We're we are nothing. tiny. He was the first week when he was in Fantasyland. I'm like. What Fantasyland is just basically the area behind the castle for me. Pretty much. And uh, <laughs> he was walking. He got lost almost. <laughs> I wouldn't even know what. That There's is. so much there. The Fantasyland is an enormous land by itself. Plus, they've got four parks. You can go to Animal Kingdom or, uh, like you said, Hollywood Studios. He's still got that. We got the water parks. He can even do. And he's safe. Laramie is safe. You know, it's gonna be tight. He what? He's safe from the hurricane. Yes, he's good. Uh, we got a little a little video of that actually. Uh, earlier this week, he's, I think we're going to be seeing some of that. So, Fresh Baked Disney World, guys. Check it out. We got fast passes, you guys. We got fast passes for Indiana Jones, the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. Let's hope we haven't screwed it up. Nine times out of ten. Did you catch the key fresh bait? I did, yeah. Uh, nine times out of ten, you get a fast pass for Indy. When you come back, it's closed. So um, I hope we didn't jinx it. I hope I didn't just jinx it just now. Oh, it's been jinxed. Is it jinxed? Let's find out how toasted we are, fresh bait. Personal space being violated? Yes, you're in Adventureland. It's very crowded here, you guys. We're all very friendly. We're getting there. You can see what I mean? Like when this that that's the fast pass no, line that's right the there. Line. Is it? Yeah. No, that's oh the, it is. Okay. But yeah, we still have time. But you can look at the uh any time is eleven fourteen. Oh oh dear. We've lost we've lost Sarah and Christian again. They just sometimes just run off. Oh my gosh! Did you hear that? Are we next to a ferocious tree? I never actually look at the tree from here. We've always walked by so fast. Oh look, there they are. Christian, I require you to grow that mustache back, please. What? I require you to grow that mustache back. Yes. I, <laughs> I'm not adjusting well. 
never heard it myself either, but <laughs> it's gonna take some time. That's new. That's new. Did you get it? No, that's been there. No, that's new. Jessica Rabbit's dress new? Did you see her dress was different? Yeah, no, I didn't see Jessica. It had polka dots all over it. Yeah, polka dots. It's all in red. And I was like, I thought it was going to have purple sequins you look. Let's ask Ian. I don't remember. He said he doesn't remember, that means I'm right. You know, it means I don't remember. <laughs> Works for me. <laughs> Don't listen to anything you say. You didn't get to give the blessing, so I can't believe you. <laughs> I didn't. Damn it, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your one. Yes, yeah, guys, wouldn't it be cool right now if we were in a ride vehicle? that took us to where we're going right now, and then we got out and walked around a bit, then got back on the ride vehicle, and then did the attraction, and then got out, walked around for a little bit, then got back on the ride vehicle again and finished the ride. Why? Because America. <laughs> because America. <laughs> there's no way, Ian, there's no way this is gonna work. Battle Escape. What do you mean? Oh, Getting out and back on again? That now? Yes, I was just, while well, I was saying, it would be, right, right now, if this is Battle Escape, we'd be in a ride vehicle. Yeah. We, we'd get to the end, we'd get out, we'd walk around a little bit, then we'd get back in again. Wait, so the queues are supposed to be right? The way well, I say it's described is you get on the ride, you can Immediately. Immediately. Get off, explore something, and then come and get back on the table. This just seems logistically and operationally a A fiasco! There's yeah. no way you can't control people like that. Not only that, there's also the almost immersion break time to do seatbelt checks again before they can see Exactly, off, yes. There. What also, if? Also, any kids who needs more time to get in and out, like maybe wheelchair or any other ADA, Well, that's, you know, yeah. That slows everything down. Like, it, what if it doesn't need seatbelts and it's just a large thing? That helps. Well, that would be still, great, yeah. They still have to check it. Yes, but I mean, that could be quick. I mean, I don't think it's a roller coaster, so you don't need seatbelts. Yeah, exactly. You shouldn't need seatbelts. It should it's just be not completely impossible, but it's highly unfeasible. I, I just can't. They, it would have to be so controlled and so, like, single file type situation, so you don't. Wh where are you supposed to explore? That's what I want to know. Oh, God. Look out! Oh, no! Hang it, Christian. Sorry. Sorry guys, I'll just put us all at risk. I'll suppose. There's a queue, you get into a queue, you enter your vehicle, that's where the ride begins. Yeah. And therefore you enter like a half a journey in this vehicle, Mike, yes. and then you take the half a journey in this vehicle. My guess is that they're doing that so that, because it's multi-level. Yeah, right? Uh, and it, it's not multi-level like, because so, people were saying, well, you know, uh, Transformers has multiple levels. Yes. You go up, but it's not an elevator. We're talking about an actual elevator. So, so it's going to be an elevator more on a mansion? I don't know. Not like anything we've ever seen. No, because you're in a vehicle. Because it's going to be the elevator is going to be rising while you're in the vehicle, right? I don't. I don't know. Like that. That's what we're assuming. Well, look at. Take. Have you seen the the footage from Pirates in Shanghai? No, I have not. Okay, there is one part where they basically they. But you, you, you float don't. up to the top. But you don't actually go up or down. You are in this exact same room. So you, you're not moving at all? Because it looked like you were moving also with no. it. That's one of the reasons I don't like that, because there's no physical motion to go up to the top. Okay. So it's all projection that's creating yeah. that image? Because you can, because some newer river riders, you can see the water level. Yeah. It's yeah. right there. That's true, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So what, what do you, I mean... If you feel up to that... that I, think, I, I think that's why you're getting out, because they can't have you in it and then take, and then raise you to the next level in the vehicle. And that's why you have to get out. The only way, the only reason why they're having you get out is for logistical reasons. They have to. But even getting you out and in seems like a logistical nightmare for car cops. Which is what I, because I remember, I saw your comment, but it yeah. said, you this, that they, they might, they might, this may never get, this, this feature may never see the light of day. Yeah. But it, again, so I'm glad they're thinking that big and creative. They either are or aren't. They have to know now because you have to build well, that fine. in. I'm just saying the fact that Imagine you're even potentially thinking this crazy is a good thing. It's already thought. Yeah, yeah, yes. They have to have some sort of solution for the nightmare of having to recheck and getting everybody reloaded. Well, they don't. Line. It's just going to take longer. They don't have a solution for that. But what I'm saying is that this is a feature. If they're already, if they're building it, if they're building this feature in, this elevator mechanism, yeah. then that's it. It's done. You can't undo that. You can't rebuild the attraction. Yeah, I mean, if they weren't, you could still be in the ride vehicle. 
Otherwise, uh, I don't see why you have to be out of the vehicle. Well, that's what I'm saying. There must be a reason why that is. I think the up or down, yeah, it's not the end, but the getting in or out is not. Yeah, maybe you're right. I don't know. Yeah. It, I, I feel like it's a safety thing, maybe, or it's not, or it's bad show. The elevator's bad show. It depends how it's themed. If it's themed, if the vehicle's getting on a Star Wars, the vehicle's getting on a turbo lift, which is essentially a Star Wars elevator, then you're being lifted into another part of the base and you can, it doesn't break story, right? There are ways to, the story can be made to work with the ride. Right, that's not the worrying part. That's the concerning part for me, is that I understand what you're saying. Yeah. They didn't, they couldn't come up with a way around that. That's, and they're still, Knowing all that, knowing that you can theme the, the, the elevator section, knowing that you can you know, make a good show out of it if it's possible, maybe you can't and that's why. The article may have sound like the getting out is something that the creatives specifically want, not something that then the ops people are telling them. There's no way, there is no way that, that that is an intentional choice for show purposes. If they want them to interact with things off the vehicle, then that is... That'll just, that'll mess everything up. Would, but if, well, people start blue sky dreaming. Their whole point is to think of anything and then, and then, and then the ops people come and say, "Cool, that part's good. You can't do that. That we might be able to make." But there's a reason why we have the Omnimover. There's a reason why we have a boat mechanism for pirates because you can't let people walk around at their own leisure. You can't, and they know it. They knew that 50 years ago. Yeah. Right. So. <laughs> It just worries me. But I mean, to be fair, we literally just saw some of that in Mickey's house. People stopping in the way yeah. when you want to get to the next thing. Right. Yeah. You can't get, people yeah. are unpredictable. They're unpredictable. And that's why you need the Omnimover. Not only does the Omnimover help keep people moving, but you can then put the show to them the way you want the show to be presented. Yeah. They're not looking in a different direction because the Omnimover yeah. has pointed you in the direction they want you to look. Speaking of things we wrote, that's why Roger Rabbit would have to be carefully designed because you can spin and see in any direction yeah. they had to cover their bottom. Yep. To make yeah, sure. yeah, everything has a backside. Yeah. 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 Now, Millennium Falcon. Yes. Interactive cues. I mean, there could be, but I think the interactivity that they were describing was more akin to something like Mission Space at Epcot, where you do things on the ride to change the outcome. Along the way. Yeah. He said twice. There are, yeah. two, there are two interactive sections, they said. Yeah, there could be some interactive stuff to set things up in the queue, and then things on the actual ride you do. And, 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 and somehow you can make this fail. Yes. What, is, what does failure look like? Well, certainly not getting blown up, that's for sure. Uh, well, because that would be... Crash landing into yeah. like Hoth or something like that would be badass. Depending, I mean, it kind of depends on what that story set is. If you're smuggling something, it could be you get captured, right? Or you have to, okay. All right. you have to just in your cargo, like on so on the Kessel. Right, right. right. right there are ways to do a failure condition that aren't just, oh, you die. Oh my god. Okay, okay, yeah. that's good. Yeah, I see. You get caught or have to dump your cargo, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so there are ways to say, oh, hey, this did not go as well. Really, you know, losing your cargo doesn't seem like much of a penalty. Okay, I'm clearly, I'm not a writer. I'm not the one coming up with the story. Point is. Well, yeah, whatever. We lost our cargo. Point is, you can make it work with people clever. What if of me. Jar Jar Binks shows up at the end? That's failure. That's right. failure. <laughs> you're, subject, you're subjected to the entire Gungan race singing to you. Could this be the fabled temple of the Bokindai? According to Jones, the temple contains a chamber of destiny where an ancient idol lured visitors and promises are gifts. Eternal youth, earthly riches, or visions of the future. But that ain't what's of power that is. Oh, 
in the timeless youth and Just fresh break that we have transferred. We have moved our location to DCA. The reason for that is because, as we alluded to earlier, we're hungry and we want to have a lunch at DCA where we haven't been in such a very long time. And that is Flo's B B7? Probably eight. B B there are eight Bs? B8, yeah. Okay. The the eight B Bs Cafe. B B B That's a lot of Bs. It's kind of like a tiki room. A lot of tiki's. Yeah. I think there's more Bs than tiki's. Are there more Bs in the name anyway? And Flo's then there are tiki's in the room. Fresh baked. I present that to you. And by the way, the reason why I'm rambling like an idiot right now is because it's hot and I'm wearing a waistcoat. Why did you do that again? You knew it was gonna be hot. I don't know. I wanted to wear a waistcoat today. Okay. So uh, that's what we're doing. Let's go get a bacon or a beef and cheddar. Do you think they still have the beef and cheddar? I think they I do, right? I assume so. I don't know why they get rid of it. I think I might get a beef and cheddar. We've got lots more for you guys to see, so grab a churro and watch our Star Wars Land updates with the Knothole Gang or maybe our Secrets and History videos. And we're now at Disney World, so please do subscribe and follow our adventures there and have your mind blown by how much fun we're having. We truly are the best of Disney Bake Fresh daily. And don't forget, you can support Fresh Bake by joining our Patreon campaign and get some exclusive benefits in the process. Thanks for watching, everyone. Fresh Bake! It's just wall-to-wall -wall artifacts in here. From the Doctor Strange... Oh, no, it's just the one... It's just the one thing.